AirPods 2, baby, they're coming. In this video, let's talk about the onslaught of new AirPods leaks regarding AirPods 2 coming early next year and then AirPods 3 coming in 2020. There is so much exciting stuff to talk about, lots of new features and changes to the seemingly simple AirPods setup. So I'm very excited to make this video. We worked very hard on this concept. I hope you enjoy it. So yeah, did I really say AirPods 3? Yes, we haven't even seen the 2 release yet and Ming Chico is already talking about some features coming to the AirPods in 2020. 20. So there's going to be two stages of release. One, a slight refresh that we're going to see early 2019 and a heavy major refresh, a complete redesign coming in 2020. And I'm going to break down everything for you. But uh, before we get into the actual physical changes, I'd like to set up the scene for you right now. AirPods are one of Apple's most popular product ever. They're relatively affordable to where almost anyone can buy one. Okay, I know it's a stretch. They're still pretty spendy, but they could get cheaper. Still though, from a price point, it's not too bad when you look at the competitors for what you you get and the seamless integration with your iPhone is pretty dang great. So there's a huge opportunity here for the AirPods to grow. In October, AirPods were Best Buy's number one seller period, followed shortly by the 3.5 millimeter headphone adapter. So you can see this thing is incredibly popular. And Ming-Chi Ko says that Apple can go from selling 16 million units to 100 million by 2021. He also said that only 5% or actually less than 5% of iPhone owners right now have AirPods. And that might be because of the prices, might be just because they don't know about them. I don't really see uh, too many people with AirPods around at the gym and stuff, but it's a market that's untapped that Apple is certainly going to be expanding on. And what better way to do it with than AirPods 2 or AirPods 3 eventually. And ming Ko does say that this is Apple's most popular accessory ever. So setting the scene here, you can see AirPods are incredibly popular and Apple really, really wants to take their time and perfect AirPods 2 before releasing them. And from what we're hearing, it's going to be quite a refinement, a very nice upgrade. Oh, and one last thing before I forget, he also did say that most people would rather buy AirPods than upgrade to a new iPhone. So people are getting more excited over AirPods than an actual iPhone upgrade. That tells you a lot about the current iPhone upgrade situation, but also the AirPods on their own are quite exciting. Okay, so now that I've set the scene, you can see the AirPods, there's a pent up demand, there's a hype, people definitely want a refresh. And by the end of 2000, 2018, Ice Universe is saying that Apple will surely release AirPods 2. Ming Chi Ko is saying that's not the case, that they'll be coming in early 2019. And that's kind of conflicting here because Ice Universe can be pretty reliable, so can Ming Chi Ko. And it's very possible that Apple might be releasing the wireless charging case by the end of 2018. And that's to catch all of the holiday sales. AirPods are a killer present for Christmas. So you can definitely see, you know, Apple would want to take advantage of that. And that gives them just a few weeks to release the wireless charging case maybe like three weeks or so. So yeah, it's quite confusing there. But anyways, what's gonna be new on the new AirPods? So there's gonna be two versions, like I said, one coming in 2019, one in 2020. So the first detail Ming Chico gives us is that AirPods arriving in 2019, early next year, will have an upgraded Bluetooth spec. So currently AirPods have Bluetooth 4.2. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a great spec. It's just not the latest. Bluetooth 4.2 has a one megabit streaming bit rate. It does have a 200 foot range in optimal conditions, you know, not in a building uh, per se, but AirPods 2 will have an upgrade Bluetooth module likely to 5.0 as that's what's available right now and most new iPhones can take advantage of that. So Bluetooth 5.0 offers several upgrades and coming to the AirPods 2, it's very impressive uh, if Apple actually implements these features that 5.0 is capable of. So the actual bit rate will double from one megabit to two megabit. This opens up the possibility of higher quality music without Apple doing anything else but upgrading the bit rate capability. Apple Music is limited to 256 kilobytes right now, so there's really not much room for them to go. Possibly possibly 320 eventually, but even so, for audiophiles, you will notice a very mild difference just because of that limitation being removed from Bluetooth. It's also a possibility now for multiple device streaming. So if you and a friend have AirPods 2, you'll be able to stream the same sound from one iPhone. Of course, that's if Apple does add that capability. Just because it's possible on Bluetooth 5.0 doesn't mean that Apple will add that, but it would be really cool. Imagine watching a movie on an airplane and you and a couple, your friend, do have separate sets of AirPods and you can listen to the same music or movie would be really cool. And also the range would be increasing. So from 200 feet to 800 feet over Bluetooth 5.0. Of course, getting that actual range that's in optimal, optimal conditions, you have to be in a completely flat area, no obstructions, no walls whatsoever. But 
even so in an area like a gym or somewhere else where you leave your iPhone in a locker maybe and just listening through AirPods, you could do that through many hundred feet where it wouldn't be possible with the old version of AirPods. So that alone is pretty dang cool. And also reduced latency. So Bluetooth 5.0 allows for reduced latency, basically a less lag between when you click play and actually playing on the AirPods, streaming, stuff like that. So from 90 milliseconds of latency right now, what Apple uses AAC to between 40 and 50 milliseconds of latency on AirPods 2 would be possible with Bluetooth 5.0. And just so you know, these benefits would only be realized by the newest devices. The iPhone 8 and above would be able to take advantage of that Bluetooth 5.0 speed, the new MacBook, uh, the new iPads, the most recent iPad actually, and the last iPad 10.5, I believe are capable of Bluetooth 5.0. And that's just so you know, not all older iPhones will immediately be able to have greater range with the new AirPods. And it's very likely that with Bluetooth 5.0, Apple will be upgrading the W chip inside the AirPods. Currently it has W1 chip, which enables that almost instant pairing. It's super great. It's one of my favorite things about the AirPods. And there are many people saying that they'll be upgrading the AirPods to W2 chips, but I believe it'll be a W3 because in the Apple Watch Series 4, not many people know about this, but they upgraded the chip to W3 and that includes Bluetooth 5.0 support. So wouldn't it make sense for Apple to place that same chip in the AirPods 2, which has already Bluetooth 5.0 inside of it? I certainly think so. So W3 chip at the very minimum, W2 will be updated in the new AirPods 2. And because of that upgraded W2 or W3 chip, the AirPods 2 will now be capable of using Hey Siri functionality. So you'll be able to call out to Siri while running to change the track without actually having to tap on the AirPods or on your phone, which would be great. I think that that's certainly possible with the current AirPods, but Apple's gonna really wanna differentiate these AirPods between the older ones and what better way to do that than with Hey Siri. And we for sure know that Bluetooth 5.0 is coming to the AirPods because they've actually received their certification from SIG for the Bluetooth module and it specifically states that AirPods here are the recipients. So AirPods 2 will be for sure getting the Bluetooth 5.0 upgrade. They are in the works with an imminent release date. So that's the refresh we're gonna be seeing in early 2019. AirPods will be getting Hey Siri support. They'll be getting faster range, possible multiple AirPods per iPhone support, Bluetooth 5.0, the W2 or W3 chip, likely W3 uh, in my opinion, and of course the wireless charging case. So not a huge upgrade, but it would be a nice one for anyone looking for a little bit more functionality from their AirPods. Of course, Bluetooth 5.0 would also probably add a little bit more efficiency to the battery, so it might last a little bit longer as well. Now, aside from those, Ming Chico did mention AirPods 3 coming in 2020. Now, he said they'll be getting a full redesign, so they might look completely different. So I actually took the AirPods design and tried to change them as much as possible in our concept, and as you can see, this is what we came up with. We came out with new colors, a matte texture. So just like the new Apple Pencil 2, we gave it that grippy, texturized feel, and I'm not really sure how that would work in your ears, but my matte ones right now, they don't really slip out. They're pretty dang stable compared to the glossy, kind of more grippy versions. So mattes, I think, could be on the table for AirPods 2. It would certainly differentiate the look from the old ones and the new ones. And it would be great if Apple added new colors, but there's no certainty in that. Developer Rambo actually found some code uh, before that referenced AirPods directly by the color, but it's very unlikely that this has anything to do with actual color coming in the future. Ming-Chi Ko specifically states it's going to be an all new design model in the first quarter of 2020. So it looks like Apple might be updating AirPods regularly just because this is such a big market for them. Now on our concept, as you can see, I try to make the AirPods a little bit sharper. We flattened the bottom out. So a lot like the Apple Pencil with its flat side, we flattened the bottom. The connectors are still there, so it would still be capable of the same type of charging. Also, we gave it a little bit more sound output. So we widened the channels for the sound exiting of the AirPod. It would theoretically, because of this, be able to output a little bit more sound. So the sound quality would be getting better, I'm assuming, on the AirPods 3. And from what we heard before about the upcoming AirPods that are gonna be completely redesigned, I'm grouping them in with the 2020 AirPods prediction from Ming Chi Ko. Uh, those rumors basically said that AirPods 3 will be getting better sealing, water resistance, and it's not supposed to be waterproof, just water resistance against sweat or running out in the rain per se. So AirPods 3 will have improved sealing inside, possibly IP67 or something of the sort. The AirPods that actually drowned in the water and the washing machine still work perfectly to this day. So already they're doing pretty good at that and they're only gonna keep improving that with future versions. The new AirPods 3 due in 2020 will also have better noise cancellation. So they're using a technology to filter out external noise when making phone calls or listening to music, and uh, Apple would certainly be implementing that. And from the same Bloomberg report talking about the future of AirPods, they also said that heart rate monitoring is coming to the AirPods as 
as well. So Apple will be adding some sort of sensor to monitor your heart rate while running to give you a better idea, more accurate, instead of just having your iPhone in your pocket. The Apple Watch, of course, is a different story, but adding biometric sensors to the AirPods is certainly on the table. And the last thing Bloomberg mentioned in their summary of the new AirPods is that they will be getting more expensive. Apple will actually have a class of AirPods, a low-end model and a high-end model for the AirPods that are more expensive, more premium, and with all of those features, the water resistance that we talked about, and better sound quality. And of course, earlier we did see some physical leaks of the supposed AirPods 2. It's unknown what this actually is, if this is the wireless charging case that's gonna be shipping soon, supposedly by the end of 2018, or if this is an all new one, but could be the AirPods 2 shown in this leak here. Either way, that is what we know about AirPods 2 and AirPods 3. AirPods 2 are going to be a light refresh, just a change inside the wireless charging case, the Hey Siri support, the better Bluetooth range, Bluetooth 5.0, the W3 chip, possibly more efficient, better battery life, a little bit better sound because of that. Uh, we'll certainly see that very soon, but AirPods 3, the major huge refresh that we modeled our concept after, will be coming in early 2020. And I'm very excited for that one. Either way, it's time for a change. These have been out exactly for two years now, and they're still working like brand new, but of course, if you can't improve them, Apple, why not? Now, my personal wish list for the new AirPods is that your iPhone be able to charge them. Now, I know the battery life is already great, but if you're ever in that pinch, it'd be nice to be able to place it on the back and have the iPhone reverse charge the AirPods even just a little bit. The new Huawei actually does that, and it's very impressive, so I certainly don't see why Apple can't add that to their iPhones. But otherwise, guys, there it is. Hope you enjoyed the concept and the latest look at the AirPods 2 and AirPods 3. Peace.